What's up guys, welcome back. You might remember last week we tried making coke rockets using propane. We saw videos all over the internet claiming that you could mix propane and coke and getting them to blast off like a rocket. However, when we tried that, we found that that is an epic fail. Oh boy. Now when I discovered that propane does absolutely nothing, it hit me that maybe something got lost in translation. Maybe the experiment is supposed to be done with butane. So the purpose of our experiment today is to see if we can get these coke bottle rockets blasting off using butane. So in preparation for this experiment, I went down to the local hardware store. I cleaned them out of butane. I bought everything that they had. Now butane comes in canisters like this. It has very similar properties to propane. It's under pressure and it's an extreme fire hazard. Now getting this out in liquid form is a lot easier than the propane. All you have to do is pop off the cap, turn the canister upside down, find a way to depress the nozzle and have some kind of a container to collect the liquid underneath. All right, so we've got our butane, we've got our bottle of Coke. Here's the basic idea of how the experiment's gonna work. First, we'll need to pour a little Coke out of our Coke bottle so the liquid levels off just below the lettering on Coca. Then we're gonna take our canister of butane, turn it upside down, and squirt the butane into the bottle of Coke until the liquid level rises to the top of the label. At that point, it's just a matter of loosely holding the bottle in our hands, turning it upside down, and watching the magic happen. go, it's ready. Let's do this. Coke and butane rocket, Let's see if it works. Woo -hoo! Bottle's tipping over, there's like a slight delay, and then boom, it's gone like a rocket. Because that's what it is, Coke rocket. Woo -hoo! That's the reaction I was looking for. It cleaned our bottle right out and now we can use this empty container to pour more butane. We can actually fill this thing all the way up and store it with the cap on because we found, like propane, we can store butane in a Coke bottle as well. Interesting observation guys, I just went through two of these canisters of butane filling up this Coke bottle. We made it to the top of the label there which is about 350 milliliters and that right there costs about $10. You're looking at $10 of liquid butane guys, crazy. All right guys, it's time for test number two. This time I poured out a little less liquid. You can see the top of the Coke lines up with the top of the label here. We're gonna pour some butane into the Coke bottle until it forms a layer about an inch high, flip the Coke bottle over, and see if that takes off any more vigorously. <laughs> Ooh, that's cold stuff, it froze my glove. Interesting that when you release the pressure, it all spews out everywhere like a fountain, and that is very cold liquid. And you can see that quickly, we've already lost like a third of our container. Ooh. Wow, it's amazing how much of that liquid disappears in the If I just pour it in there slowly, it blows bubbles. <laughs> it vapes off pretty quickly. There we go, that's a good amount of liquid right there, I think. Ready for this? Let's do it. Here we go. Woohoo! Dang! There's quite a bit of power to those things. They're not nearly as explosive as I thought they were gonna be, but they definitely work. Success! Woohoo! So this one has a little bit less butane in it. Let's see if that makes a difference. <laughs> cool. So by hanging on to it a little bit longer, I actually got a little more resistance. I like that one the best. This is the whole reason this works, guys. When you flip the Coke bottle over, the butane rises to the top because it's lighter than the Coke itself. And because it's trapped with nowhere to go, it rapidly builds pressure and forces the Coke out of the mouth of the bottle, creating thrust, making it shoot off like a rocket. Now, I do have to say that because our Coke is cold, it might be delaying the reaction. If we had warm soda, it would probably happen a lot faster and possibly make the bottle explode. But saying that, you wouldn't want to hold on to them for too long with your hands either, because if they did rupture, there's a good chance the plastic will fray out and take your skin with it. Now for this next experiment, something I've always wanted to try is the way that we launch these bottles. I've seen videos where people hold the bottles on the edge of their fingertips and let it fall off where it catches itself and shoots off from there. I'd like to see if we can get that to work for us as well. Oh. <laughs> that was a little bit of a delayed reaction, wasn't it? Like hit the ground and shot over sideways. 
Not exactly what I was going for. <laughs> that actually seemed a little more powerful. Attempt number two. Here we go. <laughs> Man, that takes off explosively, but it like hits the ground and then jolts. I can't get it to go like right off my hand, which is frustrating. But that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Woo! So you can see it tipping. You can see the butane mixing with the coke rising to the top, but then it actually hits the ground before we get that explosive reaction that takes off. So in order to get them to shoot up, you'd almost have to hit it straight on. It'd have to be perfect. Now because we're using butane for this experiment, it has a characteristic that liquid nitrogen doesn't. Liquid nitrogen is not flammable, but butane is. So for our grand finale, let's do something that you definitely shouldn't try at home. Let's light it off and see if we can get our coke rocket to blast off in flames. Woo! Fiery. All right, let's do this, ready? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh man, that was awesome, it worked. That burned a lot faster than I thought it was going to. And it was kind of hot, like holding it in the bottle, I was worried about the tip burning. There's the flip. You can see the flames descend like a waterfall and then the bottle just disappears. There's a whole column of fire. That's crazy. Imagine if they'd sprayed all at you. That'd probably hurt a lot. I think it scorched my fingers a little bit and I can smell burning human hair, but that was awesome. That was an epic way to go out in style. Right on guys, so here's what we learned from our experiments today. We started off with the knowledge that propane and coke don't do anything, so we wanted to try using butane to see if we can get that to cause a reaction instead. Although the reactions weren't nearly as powerful as I'm used to seeing with liquid nitrogen and water, they still were powerful enough to make a coke rocket. It's a viable idea. We also discovered that one canister of butane will fill up a coke bottle about halfway and give you enough for two coke bottle shots. And at $5 per canister, I'm not really sure whether or not that's actually worth it. Next, we tried tipping the Coke bottle off of our fingertips, but found that there wasn't enough reaction time. It actually fell down and hit the ground first, then jetted off like a rocket once it made contact. I'm not exactly sure the reason for the delay, but it might have been because our Coke was a little bit colder. We discovered you could fill up a Coke bottle with butane, cap it off, and the strength of the bottle was enough to contain the fluid. But as we unscrewed the cap and released the pressure, we saw the liquid begin to boil and a lot of it disappeared. For our final experiment and grand finale, we showed that unlike liquid nitrogen, butane is extremely flammable. So we lit off the gas, turned our bottle upside down, and watched our rocket blast off in a flamey, fiery fashion. And there we have it. Based on this set of experiments, I'd say the Coke and butane rocket is a success. Thanks for joining me for this experiment, guys. I'll be looking for you in the next video. Talk to you then. Yeah, it looked great. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and remember I'm giving away prizes now on every new video. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and select to be notified when my next videos get released. The secret link to my giveaways will be pinned in the comments for the first 12 hours. If you like what I'm doing, show your support right now by giving this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend. I love you back, and I'll see you next time.